the Elon Musk's proposed futuristic tunnel to the airport be nothing more than an underground ride in a Tesla? Well, in recent tweets, Elon Musk says pretty much this is simple and it just works. CBS2 Morning Insider Vince Girasoli reports he may be tweaking the technology with a significant downgrade. Two, one. Lift off. America's about trying bold new things and trying new technologies. It was announced to fanfare with former Mayor Rahm Emanuel cheering him on. It's easy to be a critic or a cynic. What jobs do they produce? What economic growth do they produce? Tech mogul Elon Musk promised to foot the $1 billion bill for a futuristic tunnel like this one where self-driving pods would whisk travelers between the Loop and O'Hare Airport in just under 12 minutes. Musk has a concept with lots of questions. Still, even skeptics won't deny the need. We really need to have a fast express train to O'Hare. All of our competing cities have it. Though Musk's boring company showed off its California test track last December, there are signs there may be no light at the end of the tunnel. Concept illustrations showed the self-driving 12-passenger pods would be hurled forward at 150 miles per hour on a futuristic skate. Now, the latest video from Boring indicates they may be nothing more than Musk's electronic Tesla Model X, seating five on autopilot, driving for the entire journey. How viable is something like this? I think it's absolutely viable. Civil engineers will tell you the underground construction and technology aren't as unbelievable as they sound. We can do it, it's just a matter of how much is it gonna cost. A new mayor could also put the brakes on Musk's tunnel. As a candidate, Mayor Lori Lightfoot made no mention of the tunnel in her transit proposals and questioned the transparency of the bidding process. In a statement, her office would only say she's evaluating several major transit projects. There is metro service to the airport. It's not very good, but it's something we can build on. Rick Harnish with the Midwest High Speed Rail Association is pointing to the sparsely serviced Metra station adjacent to the new O'Hare Car Rental Center. Metra estimates it could upgrade the line and provide reliable frequent service for $500 million. But last weekend, lawmakers didn't provide enough cash to put the project on track. We need to have Springfield step up and invest in the train. Which may be as challenging as, well, a billion dollar tunnel to the airport. Vince Girasoli, CBS2 News. Well, we reached out to Musk and the Boring Company on repeated occasions for comment on our report, but no one responded to our inquiries.